Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Matt Plays Your Games. We're just going to get right into it, starting with Escape the Dark Woods. So this is a retro PS1 type horror game, and you must investigate a rumour about a mythical monster. The forest is very dark and lights barely work because of the monster. Okay, so that's interesting, so let's hit play and, and get right into it. Okay, so here we are. So let's just press start. Okay, so it's quite cool. Okay, so it's from rain. I do like the style of this one as well. I've got my car there, let's see if I can interact with it. I'll just leave. No, I can't even go back that way. Okay, so we'll just go forwards then, I guess. This looks nice though. Is this the end of the level? Oh, okay, there we go. Teleport through. Oh, the path just ends here. It's not just onto grass, okay. Do I have a flashlight? Nope. It does say lights barely work, but I guess I just don't have them at all. Oh! Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll just run away? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I do seem to be a lot quicker than him, which is good. I'll run back to my car. Okay, well I can go back here. Is he going to follow me though? No? Oh, my car's on fire. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I can't go back to my car then. Uh, it seems to have blown up. Right. Well, that's a slight problem then. Okay, so do I go back to him then? Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Well, he's not here. Unless he's going to spawn in again when I get back down there. Stick to the left since he spawned in on the right over there. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. So he's like hiding in a tree. And he just comes back down to where I am when he sees me. Okay. What do I do then? Can I like juke around him? Lead him over here. And then run around past him. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I'm meant to do that or not. <laughs> I might just be stuck here. Oh no. Oh no, I think I just meant to run this way instead. Okay. <laughs> instead of running away. Uh, does he still follow me? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Is this, is this a building? Oh no, he's still following me. Okay, I should run. Is that a car? That is a car. Can I get in it? Oh, I've survived. Okay, there we go. Oh, awesome. Okay. This menu, because I saw a secret level. Yeah, we've got a secret level here. Okay, so I'll have a go on this one as well. That's really good. Nice and short and simple, but very effective. I liked it. Okay, so again, I can't go back to my car. Let's just go around this way. Oh, you spawned in there. Just a person this time. What happens if I get got? Oh, I've lost. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, Alright. So let's try that again then. Where does he spawn in? Because I just heard the music kick up. I didn't see him. Oh, he's there. Oh, I nearly walked right into him. I forgot there's a turn there. Okay. So we're through here now. Alright. So now we're back to this kind of same level. I think, or at least the same looking area. Is there someone behind this tree? Oh, that's a big guy behind that tree. <laughs> Is he not going to come after me? Oh, he's massive, though. Oh, I've lost. Oh, okay. So I guess he, he is there. I just he doesn't move maybe okay but let's just not walk up to him <laughs> that was a mistake oh, there we go yeah okay so he's now following me uh that's spun me around we need to go this way so yeah let's just go where i need to go and not walk into the enemy that was uh that was my mistake oh now he's following me okay so i think i broke it last time yeah that's a big guy okay Oh, there's another one. Oh my. Okay. I nearly got me. I <laughs> nearly walked into it. There we go. I've survived. Awesome. Yeah, okay, that was really good. I really like that. So there's just two different small levels there, but they're very good. I really did like that. I really like the style. The whole idea of it. It was great. It's really well executed as well. So well done. Thank you for submitting. So next up, we've got Pitch Black Plinko. So you can play Plinko in a unique way. Everything is pitch black and gets illuminated when coming into contact with the ball. Hit the pegs, beat the high score, and relax to some low effort gameplay with lo-fi beats. Currently contains 10 levels. 
Okay, so let's just go into this one then. Ooh, cool, I like that title. Oh, this main menu screen is kind of cool because you've got the plinko coming off there. Oh, so is that kind of what it's going to be like then? It's pitch black until it hits it. Yeah, okay, guess so. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, let's just go to level select, uh, level one. All those remaining four, score and high score. Okay, so how do I play this? So I just tap somewhere, use my arrow keys, enter space. Okay, space. It's gonna be like okay. Why? Well, I'll choose it. Level two. Let's just drop it in the middle. See what we get. Okay, so it's pretty good. Wow. Okay, I'm getting a lot of points this time. And 500 bomb as well. Awesome. Let's drop over here. I want to bounce all the way over. Okay. This is a very fun game. It's just kind of very relaxing, something to just do in your time. I feel like this would work really well as like a mobile game as well. well obviously this is on PC at the moment, but I feel like this would work very well as a mobile game, something to just play in the background when you're doing something else. Let's drop right in the middle here. Final ball here, let's make this count. I think I beat my high score from the last level though. I can't remember. I then got 3,400, didn't I? This time I got 4,300, so that's good. Let's just go straight to level 10, see if that's, see if that's like. Let's drop it here. Oh wow, okay. Looks kind of like Mario Mushrooms, I wasn't expecting that. I just wanted to see what difference it would make being on level 10, but okay. That's cool. So if they got like different themes maybe. Because the more you hit these, the more they change colour as well, which is nice. Drop it here. Yeah, they just keep switching between red and green, that's cool. Okay, this is a really good go for, for making points. It kept just bouncing between all the ones up there. I'm going to do that again, so I'm going to get the same kind of like score points I got. Oh no, I messed it up that time. Oh well. Let's drop all the way over to the right here. I don't mind it's moving. Okay, there we go. Let's drop here. See what else is this way. Oh, not much, okay. <laughs> cool. I'll play one more level. Let's go with level 8 and see what that's like. Oh wow, okay. So yeah, th there is a lot of different levels in this. They all are kind of unique in their own way, which is really cool. So these ones are already lit up so I can see where they are. And some of them moving as well. Oh, I'm turning them off this time. Okay, that's interesting. It's kind of like reversed. Do I turn them back on if I hit them again? Yeah, that's cool. Let's go this way. No, I don't hit them. I don't turn them back on if I hit them again. Okay, so now they're just turned off. So the other one's got easier with time. This one gets harder. Interesting. Let's go here. That's a good shot. Let me see if I can get all of them turned off. Let's drop here. Ooh. I might be able to. 
Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh. Okay, so now I just need to get these two with this one ball. Let's see if that's possible. Oh, I forgot there's one there. Go on. Oh, okay, well, I've got one left. Nearly got them all. I'm going to do one more level. I said I'd only do one more, but I'll do another one. Because I'm noticing that they are actually very different each time. So that's very interesting. Let's go with level five. Let's see what this one's like. This might just be the same. Oh, they've got different colors and different sizes. Okay. Wow, that was, that was a bad shot. I just went straight to the bottom. Cool, okay. So we've got white and pink, all different colors, all different sizes as well. Let's see how many I can get this time. And yeah, these ones are changing colors as well as I hit them multiple, multiple times. Nice one. Let's go all the way over to the left this time, see what's over here. Lots of points, that's what's over there. Cool. Okay, one go left. Let's go to the right. Ooh. Just keep bouncing on the top. There we go, get some good points in there. Yeah, straight to the bottom. Alright. Well, I think I'm probably going to leave that one there. That's very good. Like I said, it's very unique. I haven't seen this done before. It's nice and chilled out. It's nice and relaxed, which is why I think it would work great on mobile as well. Especially, like I say, all the different reasons of why being able to strike it. I feel like this would work great for a mobile game. And all the different 10 levels, they are unique in their own way, and I feel like this would be pretty easy to keep expanding upon, especially for a mobile game, I keep saying it, but this would work really well. Just keep doing an update every month or something with a new level would work perfect. So really well done on this game, and thank you for submitting it as well. But I think that'll be it for this video on me playing your games. A pretty quick one this time around, but I just want to play these two games for this episode of Matt Plays Your Games. Thank you to everyone who has submitted, and thank you for these two, obviously, again, for submitting this time around. I really did enjoy these games, and I do still have a list of everyone who has submitted. So if you have submitted your game but I've not played it yet, don't worry, I've got an incredibly long list which I'm trying to work through, and I will be going through as many as I can. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.